friends! Today we're reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, what is it, friends? But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop. One piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Please do not say he was still hungry. <laughs> that night he had a stomach ache, I bet. The next day was Sunday again and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Wow. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. He was a beautiful butterfly. Aww. I love that story. So we talked about what the hungry caterpillar ate. What did you eat or what are you going to eat? So get a piece of paper, get a plate and trace around your plate, trace a circle and get your utensils. That means your spoon and your fork and trace around them on each side. And that's your place setting. And then draw me a picture of what you ate for breakfast or lunch. All right, good job. Have fun with that. I'm excited to see what you had for breakfast or lunch, breakfast or lunch. And we all say the end.